to find my way to you Even though you're next to me No matter what I do Your heart is drifting out of Hey there, welcome back to my vlogs. This time we're in Indonesia and we'll be traveling to Burma and Ijen to climb some mountains. We're headed to Ijen first, which is around a 7 hours drive from Surabaya Airport. So if you're planning to go to Ijen first, do prepare some entertainment on your drive. At a rest stop, we bought some food for our hike tomorrow and also tried out this fried tofu, which was surprisingly good. After a 3 hours journey, we stopped by Hanayani restaurant to try some authentic Indonesian food. The environment here was surreal. We saw some people fishing and also this was the unique way we got our waiter's attention. The food here was both beautifully plated and also tasted really well. I definitely recommend this place for anyone traveling to Ijen. We continued on another 4 hours journey to our Ijen resort. At points, it seemed as though we were in a horror movie because the roads were so twisty, dark, and not to mention narrow. And finally, we reached our resort at Ijen Resort and Villas, the hidden paradise. This place is really beautiful and we got to rest up before our hike tomorrow. We're going to go climb Aijen now. You're the drink, the capsule in the bottle, the damsel in the dress. You come to save me from distress. Stay the week, distract me from my problems. The war inside my head make me forget I'm such a mess. Having breakfast at our hotel and washing up, we checked out and now we are heading to our Bromo Hotel. For lunch, we stopped by Mat Lika, which specialised in curry fish head. They were next to a paddy field, so they had amazing views and also here's how we ordered our food via the unique way. After filling up our bellies, we are on another 3 hours drive to Bromo. We're finally here, but first we stopped by at Lava Hill Cafe for some dinner. Day 3, we woke up at 1am again to head to Bromo. We took a 20 minutes bumpy ride in our jeep and reached the sunrise viewing point. But we were a little bit too early and the weather was so chilly and windy outside. So we headed to a cozy hut for some hot beverages and fried bananas. The weather was foggy so we weren't able to see the sunrise but here we headed to our next spot to take some jeep photos. Next we went horse riding to see the Bromo crater but once again the weather was really foggy so we weren't able to see much at the top. Nonetheless we got amazing shots and photos at the terrain here. Next our guide brought us to a secluded place that not much people know to see Bukit Batok and also the Bromo. A guide was amazing throughout the entire trip and I definitely recommend him. I'll leave his contact in the description below. Around 10am, we were back in our hotel to have our brunch. For Bromo, we stayed at Bromo Terrace Hotel and Resto. It was a beautiful hotel and the views here were amazing. Next, we visited Madakaripura Waterfall, where we had to take a motorbike in. We 
We had our dinner in Malang at a restaurant called Nine House Kitchen at Fresco. The restaurant had a laid back and romantic ambience. We were definitely underdressed for this place, but we just went with it. We ordered some mocktails and also the western food. The food here was pretty decent and definitely worth the high price range. To conclude the night, we checked into Hotel Santika, which was in Malang. Day 4, we're heading to Tumpak Seru. We woke up at 5am, so we took our breakfast to have it in the car. Here's a quick unboxing of what was in our breakfast box. We need to scale down there. Botanica was a beautiful restaurant in Surabaya which we had for dinner. They served delicious Indonesian food. We stayed at Ara Central Hotel for the night and woke up to a delicious buffet breakfast before catching our flight at Surabaya Airport. And that concludes my Burma and Ijen trip. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!